Good morning on this beautiful Wednesday. So today for English, I'm going to teach you the cheesy slide by Drake. Right foot up, right foot slide, left foot up, left foot slide. Even when we go on a slide, okay, cut, just kidding. So today we are going to start with our bite size pieces of our creative writing for our print advertisement. So I am going to just quickly revise the planning with you that you're going to start today and what you need to have um, on your mind map. So let's go and have a look, share screen, what I want to share with you, my little mind map that I made. Okie dokie, there you go. Okay, so basically, in the middle of your mind map or your spider diagram, spider body, you're going to have the name of your product. And I remember I want you to pick something out of your imagination that has never been invented or does not exist on the market. Okay, and Remember, it's creative writing, so it does not have to be realistic. Okay, chop, chop. Right, so the other thing to remember is that an advertisement's purpose is to get people to buy the product. All right, so you use whatever means necessary, persuading, emotions, appealing to someone's dreams and desires. So, for example, if you drive this Alfa Romeo, gentlemen, you are going to have girls chasing you. You are going to suddenly be handsome, dapper, debonair, dashing. Oh, that's a lot of alliteration going on there. But, girls, when you use this lipstick, Suddenly, your lips will become luscious, voluminous, like two soft pillows. And the boys will be phoning you for dates 24-7. Okay, whatever you have to do to sell your product. All right, so let's quickly look at what you're going to have on your mind map. So you're going to have, um, we'll start to, at the top, Right, okay. See, I'm pointing, but I'm not even pointing. You know what I mean, right? Okay, so the cost, how much is your product, product selling for? Where can you buy it? Perhaps more than one place. If it's exclusive, then only one place. Remember, everything that you put around your mind map is just a heading. And then you've got to fill that little skeleton in with lots of flesh. There's no point drawing a mind map and just writing there. Slogan, metaphor, simile, no, those are headings. Okay. So special features, at least four things about your product that make it amazing. And remember, we want to be short, sweet, to the point. All right. So we will have sentences, but we will also have phrases here and there. So not a complete sentence. So um Perhaps around your illustration, you might have a couple of phrases like, um, 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 let's just think if it's a toothpaste. Um, fresh mint flavor. Something like that. Okay, so you won't have to need complete sentences to ask. All right, then I want one simile and one metaphor, right? Comparison using like or as, and then the metaphor, the comparison without using like or as, so you just say something, do something. With this, um, let's say it's a shampoo. With this shampoo, you will be like, Tina Turner. Okay. Now there's an example of how not to try and sell a product. 
because nobody wants the frizzy Tina Turner look from the 70s. You're gonna have to think of someone that everyone admires and say, there, you will be like that, or your hair will be as smooth as silk. Right, there's your simile. And a metaphor. Um, your personality will bubble over like a bottle of champagne, but you don't say that, right? Okay, what types of things are you going to use to persuade your buyer, all right? Then um, I actually, within that persuading, you need to decide who your target market is. Are you selling to children? Are you selling to um, kids, tweens, teenagers, early 20s? Are you selling to um, businessmen? Are you selling to young girls? Are you selling to the older generation? Maybe you're selling a certain type of um, false teeth, new false teeth. Woo! These smackers will just crunch through everything, baby. Whatever it is, decide your target market and persuade them in the way they need to be persuaded. Okay? And so a lot of false promises, if you know what I mean. All right? Because you buy that car, is your everything suddenly going to change? Your looks, your personality, suddenly you're going to have more money. No, you're going to have less money because you bought the car. So you have to say these little things, but we call them fake promises. Okay, your adjectives and adverbs, five of each, because you have to have, be very descriptive for your nouns and your verbs. But those will also come in. You will just put them there. And then when you get to your mind map, uh, your amber table, which is after the mind map, then you will put those adjectives and adverbs in there with the nouns and with the verbs. If um, you've listed some there that you can possibly find better ones for when you do your amber table, great. But we'll discuss the amber table tomorrow or the next day. Right, and then is there a special deal or special deals? Remember I said buy one, get one free. Or with your first purchase, you will get um, so many double discount points or you will get a free what many grocery from checkers or a free what are those things that just came disney figures or free packet of stickers okay so think of different specials if you buy three whoo, think of something bad okay then i want a logo which is a little symbol or design or a letter something like that but with your logo and with your illustration, when you're doing this in rough, you're not spending hours drawing and coloring. So I just already cut that out. It's just a sketch, it's just an outline. And then when it's your final draft, you will draw beautifully. You will take time to color and shade and make it fab, but you will not do that in the planning stages. And then a slogan is a little snappy saying. Remember I said rhyme would be nice. It helps it along. Like, go get it, you get it. The sooner the better. Remember those little lollipops? Do they still have those? Go get it. Go get it, you get it. The sooner the better. Or, and alliteration is really cool. Okay. So, like we said, with the, the cop, maybe I'm going to say the... Um, I said dashing, debonair, mm, you see, dementia, forgot already, dashing, debonair, what have you, but alliteration in the slogan would help as well to just make it catchy. And there we have the planning. And so now for the rest of the lesson, you're going to start your mind map planning. And then tomorrow you're going to have another period where you work on your mind map and then you start working on your end of table using a dictionary and a thesaurus. So go for it, do this slide.
uh, 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 uh. Either way, you know, we're gonna do a slide. Okay, now I'm turning Drake into a nursery rhyme. So let's just stop right there. Time out, cut and start back over and clear the set, please. It's a wrap. As you can see, it takes me a while to get out of there and find the stop button. <laughs> shop, shop. <laughs>